Hi everyone, this is Mom Loves AG Dolls 2. McKenna, Molly, and Inner Star Girl. And by request, I am going to show all the pieces that are needed to make the double bars for the gymnastics set. The girls are standing on the beam that we made um, that is just wood and duct tape. And you can see that in our uh, first video where this was actually made. But we're concentrating on the beams that were by request. And I'm going to show you how many pieces you need. Sorry, the bars and the sizes. Okay, so you're going to start out needing two 18-inch pieces. So you need two of those 18 inches. And then you need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces that are roughly 15 inches. And why I say that is because we had four of them, the four tallest ones, pre-cut at the store for 15 inches. And then I realized that we needed more to complete the set, so Grandpa at home took a saw and he cut us four more of what was left over from the pipe. These four did not come out to 15 inches. Um, the first four are 15 inches. The last four came out to more like 14 and a half inches, which is fine because they are going at the end of the bars, so it's okay. Then you're going to need to complete your set to 12 inches. And the 12 inches are to go in the middle between the high bar and the low bar so that they're closer together. If you use a 15 inch one in the middle, they're so far apart that the doll cannot touch one bar to the other. So I wanted it smaller and that's where the 12 inch comes in. And then let me let you know that all of these pieces that's 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 pieces in total all came from the same half inch PVC pipe. When you buy it, it's about 6 feet long, give or take. I'm not really sure. It's been a long time. But you can get all these pieces cut at the store if you ask nicely and if they're not busy. They will cut them for you and they will not charge you. If they're busy, they may charge you or they may um, ask you to come back. But um, you can do it at home with a saw, but it's very difficult. So I would suggest asking nicely at the store. Then you're going to need, if you pan down here, you're going to need four T-crosses. And these are the ones that you're going to use to connect the bars. And you're also going to need four elbows, again, to connect the bars. And to finish off the look, you're going to need four stoppers. And all of these have the openings that are half an inch. That's a half an inch and that's a half an inch. Okay, so now I'm gonna put it together so you can see how it goes. We'll start out with our high beam, so I grabbed the two 18 inch ones, and you're gonna need two T-crosses. I'm gonna put them on the bottom. And then you're gonna need two elbows at the top. Hi everyone, sorry about the uh, interruption. My daughter stopped the video to ask me something. Anyhow, um, let's keep going. These are the two 18 inch bars. And I don't know if my daughter captured it, but I did say you're going to need two T-crosses on the bottom. And you're going to need two elbows at the top. And we did spray paint this, which I now regret because it was my first spray painting attempt on anything and it did not come out very well. And when I spray painted it, I did it when everything was already set up. So some of these got stuck with the uh, spray paint and would not come off. And it was very difficult to disassemble this to do this video. But anyway, all's well that ends well. So here you have your two 18 inches. And um, you need a 15 inch bar to go in the middle. And that's your 15 inch bar. So let's set that aside. That's the high bar. We're going to do the low bar. You need two 15 inches, which you're going to add the T crosses to the bottom. And you're going to add the elbows at the top. Same with the 18 inch that we did. And so that the spacing is the same, we use another 15 inch for the middle. So here we have two 15 inches. That way the spacing is the same as you can see. And then you just fix your T-bars here. Then you're going to want to take the two smallest ones, which are the 12 inches, to connect the high beam and the low beam. And so what you do is you put one there and one here. And just snap them in. All these pieces snap in together. Oops, I lost my small one. There it is. Okay, so my small one goes here and it goes here. 
Now I'm running out of room, so I have to turn this sideways. And this is where the extra four pieces come into play. What you want to do is put one on each end to complete the look. As you can see, if we had left it with those just middle pieces, it's not as sturdy and it doesn't look as complete. So this makes it look more complete and then to really finish your look, you can use the stoppers at each end. There. And so now my daughter will show you the finished uh, look. High beam, low beam, the two small 12 inches, and then all your other pieces. So in total you have 12 pieces, and then four of the elbows, and four of the tees, and four of the stoppers. Now I have McKenna sitting here waiting to do her gymnastics routines, and McKenna has two rubber bands in her hand, and I double, uh, doubled it on her wrist here, and what you want to do is, oh, I guess I better start it without McKenna. You want to hold it like this and then just put one crossing the other and pull so that it looks like that. And then you're going to want to double it on McKenna's wrist or any 18 inch doll. So there's one and then here's the other one. And because I need both hands for this, McKenna's going to hang for a little bit. And that's what's good about rubber bands, they do stretch, but she might fall off of it before I um, get the second one on. But my daughter's trying to hold it for me. So that's that one, and we'll stick our hand in. And you can use hair ties or anything else that you can think of. I wanted to try rubber bands this time because they're so stretchy, but I've used hair ties before. Um, the problem with rubber bands, even though they are stretchy, they're also... Uh, more breakable. So there's McKenna hanging around and she can do her beam routine like this and if she goes the other way you can see that her legs can almost reach the other side. Let's see. See that? Like a real gym gymnastics bar set. When the girls do that they have to be careful not to hit their uh, ankles when they swing around. So she can do that. See, so it's really cute, and I don't know if many of you know, but um, American Girl has actually come out with the McKenna set again, but they don't call it the McKenna set because they changed the colors. So they basically just recycled it. So if you're interested, you can buy that set for $85 now at the store again. Or you can just make this set, and all of these pieces that I showed you, along with the wood for the beam plus the duct tape we spent less than seventeen dollars on all of this so I thought it was a great bargain and I want my daughter to show um, McKenna up here on this part and when she comes over to here she can actually reach it and that's what's good about the spacing with the 12 inches see she can actually reach from one bar to the other and then you can play without rubber bands if you want to but it is easier with rubber bands so that the doll can actually hang better since we don't have any grips. So thank you so much for watching and thank you for this request. And McKenna and Molly will now say bye everyone.